Hey everyone, it's been a while. Uh, previously I shared a tutorial on how to use MetaHumans with uh, custom clothing. You can find the link to that video in the top right corner. Today I'll show you a new method using the uh, latest mutable plugin from Epic Games. I've already set up MetaHuman for use with uh, the uh, two-person template. And now let's add some custom clothing. Uh, for this, I'll use our Meta Commander pack. There is a link to it in the description. First, uh, let's enable the mutable plugin and restart the project. Now that everything is set up and the closing meshes are in the project, we can start using the plugins features. Let us create and open a new customizable object. First we'll add uh, the metahuman we are going to customize. Start by adding a skeletal mesh node and selecting the body mesh of our metahuman. This node let us choose which LOD we want to work with. I'll go with uh, LOD 0. Next, uh, we'll use the mesh section node to assign a material to the selected mesh. And then we'll call the mesh component function, set the component's name and connect everything to the base object node. Once that is done, we can compile and check if everything works as expected. Let's repeat this process for the head. We will need the LODs for the T's and I's also. Send materials to them and this will also go into the mesh component node. The head is in place. Within the right eye. Okay, now we've turned our metahuman into a fully customizable object. Now it's time to add clothing elements. The process is similar, 
muy uh, select skeletal mesh in this case uh, should be assign a material to the section and connect it here read the difference we'll use the add to mesh component node ensuring the parent component's name matches exactly uh, next we'll create a child object node give it a name assign it to a group and add it to the base objects uh, children array I'll name this child object top later we'll uh, use this name to reference a boolean variable that uh, controls whether the shot is equipped on the character now let's create a group of a name cloth and connect it to the uh, children array of our resulting node okay let's compile and look for top boolean checker Now this shirt is in place, it's well fitted to the tall metahuman model, so there is no visible clipping. Uh, but if we enable the wireframe view, we can see that uh, the body under the shirt is still rendered, which wastes system resources. To optimize the mesh or address any clipping issues, uh, we can use the uh, cut mesh with mesh function. Uh, for this function to work, uh, the cut and mesh must be manifold, if you know what I mean. Uh, watertight in simple terms. Thankfully, the meshes in our packs meet this requirement. Uh, so we can use our clothing meshes uh, without any proxies. Um, we need to specify uh, the mesh we are cutting. This is done by setting uh, the appropriate tag in the cut mesh with mesh function. Now it works. Let's do the same for the head mesh. I mean its shoulder part and the, the clothes. And there is a small visual bug. Mutable is still in development, so bugs are expected. This one is easy to fix by slightly moving the resulting node. Using the same steps, we'll add pants and boots to the metahuman. I'll name this child object bottoms. Remember these names as uh, we'll use them in the MetaHuman Blueprint for customization. Now let's connect it to the same uh, clothes group. We will also remove uh, hidden polygons under the pens to optimize performance. Uh, 
I just realized that we don't need to call the cut mesh with mesh function twice. Uh, to cut two separate meshes was one cutter. We can simply set a mesh takes to cut on both ways a uh, single function. Yeah, it worked. Now we'll repeat the process for the boots. Compile, save and exit. Right-click on the customizable object and create an instance. Uh, this instance will be used in the blueprint. Next, open the MetaHuman blueprint, select the body component and add a customizable skeletal component. In its detail tab, choose the customizable instance we created and set the component name. I'll name it character if you remember. Compile and there is a small bug, uh, the component didn't hook it up. Let's tweak the index again. Much better. Now let's access the closing elements we added. Uh, here we, where those names top, uh, bottoms and boots we have created come in handy. First I'll get uh, the boolean variable indefined by the name top uh, from the customizable object instance. Uh, this boolean is responsible for toggling a shirt. Then I'll assign a key to toggle the boolean value. For our MetaHuman's look changes to take effect, uh, we need to call the function update uh, skeletal mesh async. Let's try it. You can now change clothing on the fly. I am personally waiting until the mutable plugin achieves uh, production ready status. With this system, you can not only toggle one clothing element on and off, uh, but also build complex customization systems. However, building such system will take some time. If you need clothing for your meta humans, 
check out our packs. The link to our fab is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you later.